Hello again, and welcome back to the replay of Yu-Gi-Oh! Fair Memories. Done a little bit of grinding against a couple of the opponents. Uh, main difference is, apart from this, is I got a couple more rocks that I bought. Cut down on the fires, cut down on the machines. Bought the Duraguma, just for the 2200. Quite a few females to hopefully make things like Nethergal and Mystical Sand. Still got some warriors. I got sort of some 1200s in a uh, Toric Silver Fang and Zombie Warrior. Sneaky Archery. Did I get anything else that was really worth mentioning? No, not as such. So, we'll pop back into the campaign to come up against the second opponent. I've already done the save, I don't need to worry about that. Of the tournament. Weevil, who has Jiraguma himself, which is part of the reason why I wanted to, wanted to get it. The fires will probably come in handy to make flame servers if I can, but we'll see. I did get a fire. Uh, what I'm going to do is put out pumpkin, because it's a 2000 defense. The only way that he can get over this is with Jiragumo. So if he attacks, he might be in a bit of trouble. Okay, okay. Let me go for it. Just a beam soldier. I've only ever seen him play it once. He does play forest. I feel like I should have a fun. Okay, this is gonna be a bit a bit tricky. He does play forest, so at least if he does, my beam soldier also levels up a little bit. I'm gonna save the Raigeki. I'll make the mystical sound. The reason I save the Raigeki is in case he does play Jiraguma. Let's get rid of this cocoon. I should be okay from this. Still gonna save the right Gekki. Put out something. And obviously I can I can win on the next turn. Probably could have won that turn actually. The first successful equip, because the one on Dark Witch didn't work. There we go! It's a 1200, 1500. It's an insect, so not really much good for for anything else uh, fusing wise but it is a 1200 1500 I'm not gonna not gonna use it let's leave and fight the third opponent of the I believe we're in the preliminaries yeah my I think the best one that she plays is half piece pet dragon so I just have to uh, have to see. Mystical Sand can be it because of the Guardian Stars, I think. Let's uh, make Dark Elf and we'll see how Dark Energy goes on it. Alright. Should be good. Should have put it in Jupiter because then it would get more power against Half His Pet Dragon. Which it's not because it's. Well, it might be Aquamador. No, Mystical Sand goes Saturn. Okay. Because I need... 
can't remember the, the Jupiter. The grass. The grass one I think is Jupiter, because Jupiter beats Saturn. Go for a Necodinal. Now that I've got the extra extra rocks, the extra females, a couple extra beasts I got as well with obviously Silver Fang. Fusing becomes a lot easier, you can play stronger cards more often. I'll just pop down Masaki. I'd be very happy here. She drops like, a female card or I think she could drop Elf Slight. It's a winged beast. A bit frustrating, but I will be going back and doing a few duels against my to get some elf slight. So once again, I'm gonna save. Usually, I just play this straight through. It's not too difficult once you can make things like Mystical Sand, Flame Cerberus, but. For this, if I start playing it straight through, get up to like Bandit Keith and then lose, I have to restart everything. It's just a, just a bit easier. Here's one. Oh, it's 1400. I've always 1500. My bad. So, we'll go for. Go for a Queen of Autumn Leaves. It is Jupiter. Okay. I think Keith has a chance to play Zoa. It's quite, quite low. I have seen him play it before. Hmm. I know what I want to. Kind of want to hold on to the right Gekki. Make another Queen. Let's make Cyber Soldier. Get another two cards. That should be fine, that should make Pump King, and then I can put him in defense. Now unless you play something bigger that can kill Pump King, or a spell or a trap or something, you'll see how silly the AI are. Even though, he did have a pretty good, uh, if he had just kept being attack, it would have been fine. I did not realize I had a mute button. That's annoying. May have to, uh, may have to ride Gekki. Next one. Kill the Flower Wolf and the Pumpkin. See, they're smarter on that side. They get rid of the one with the defense, so you can't just switch it back into defense. I'm gonna ride Gekki here. If he's fusing to make Nekagawa, he hasn't, hopefully hasn't got anything, uh, bigger than my Flower Wolf. If he does, then I guess I lose. Okay. Fire arrow is handy to hold on to. We'll go for another Queen of Autumn Leaves. Hopefully it's not another 1800. Okay. So if we hadn't already, this pretty much secures it, unless you play Zoa. Which I said, I've seen, I've only ever seen him do it once. And I do usually free duel with Bandit Keith quite a bit, because he drops some, drops some good cards. Just play a Snake Piyashi. I'll attack with Mystical Sand. Just in case. Finish him off with the flower.
I believe that's a machine. Could be helpful. It's a 1500. And yes, we beat Keith. That's us through the prelims. We'll save it here, as always. I use this is usually where I save it. This cutscene's quite long. I'll try and explain little bits of it. So it turns out that Joey is also winning. So the hope of facing him in the final is still there. What's he seen? Sh 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 shoddy. Uh, Shardy here is the holder of, I believe, the Millennium Key and the Millennium Scales. And the puzzle has summoned him. So, every Millennium item is apparently gathered here. So, you've got... Shadi with the, I say the key and the scale. Obviously, Yugi has the puzzle. You have the Korra, who has the necklace. Pegasus, who has the eye. Ishizu, who's called Isis in this game, who has the necklace. And then I'm not going to spoil the last one. You probably already know it. This game is ancient, but I'm not going to spoil the last one, just in case. The dream that he talks about is the beginning part. Your alter ego. A ten. Yummy Yugi. So we actually get to see what the character you played at the beginning looks like. You play as Yami Yubi, obviously. And we're going to meet up with him and find out what he'd like us to do. We delve into the puzzle. We recognize this bit. Or uh, the mind. There's a 10. Or Yami Yugi, she uses his name. And because they're connected, you can understand everything without talking. And what we would like to do is obviously return to our own world. But we need Yugi's help. given blank cards. It says A card, but I think you get given six. Obviously one for each of the millennial items. We did. And we need to get back to ancient Egypt to find out what Haishin did after we shattered the puzzle. There we go. Six cards. And we need to use these cards somehow. Along with the Millennium items. But we think on it later, we'll go into the door. And at number one of the five, we actually face Shardy. 
mainly plays a water deck, I believe. I think Yadokaru is the best thing he can play with 1700 defense. I think they put someone quite easy after the cutscenes, you don't have to watch it over and over and over, because as it is, it is quite a long one. I think it's the longest one, but we've got Jiraguma, just in case. We'll make the Mystical Sand. So I think Yadukara is the best thing I've ever seen him play, which is a defensive card as well. It's... We'll, make... we'll play the Juraguma. See, so, uh, unlike uh, Keith, who played Axe Raider, Gemini Elf, things like that, he starts off with Cyberstein. Down to your sort of 700, 500. We'll make a flame service. I'm gonna try and get a couple fires and things like that to make flame service a bit more for when we go up against Dishuzu. Because she has cards with over 2000 attack, uh, like Aqua Dragon. Uh, 2250. They're Neptune, so Pluto, when she gets boosted. And since I'm not using anything like Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, I have to find a find another way. Liquid Beast, I think it's like a 900 attack water. Shardy doesn't really drop anything good. Uh, you can A and S tech him for Raigeki, which I may do. I don't know yet, it depends. And the key and the scales have been drawn into two of the six cards. So, there we go. We have to now... Remember in, I think it was either the first video or the second video where I said the difficulty spike jumps? The next person we come up against... Uh, I will go through and do it, I've got, got time. And I think I want to do a little bit of farming against this guy as well. Is... Bakora. Uh, he has... Labyrinth War and Millennium Shield. They both have 3,000 defense. With Mystical Sand and Saturn, it gets boosted to 2600, and with the Dark Energy, it goes to 3100, so it is possible to beat it. I just gotta be able to, obviously, make them. I don't think he plays too much attack-wise, he is very much defensive, so I might just get a couple good cards through and then try and get to Raigeki, which is there. I will just flat out play the Juraguma. Because he also plays uh, Mystical Elf and Spirit of the Heart, which have 2,000 defense. So Nekigal wouldn't have been strong enough. That's an Aquamador, I think. Go for Flower Wolf. I'll hold on to the Queen's Double. So I can make Mystical Sand. Aquamador? Giant Okay. So there you go, 1,800 defense. Four K on board. As long as okay, so I can make anything this turn and then just right get here next time. I'll make flame swordsman. And I attack with Jiragumo again, just in case. It's his own power. Loop. This is actually probably one of the best duels I've had against him. Potential to be a wall or a shield because of Uranus, so I'm gonna write Geki. I was going to anyway, but if I played something else and it was a wall and a shield, it just means I don't win this turn. Angel Witch. Handy. That's a that's a femur. And it's a spellcaster as well. No, you were not. And much like with the keys and the scales, we absorb the ring. And 
we freed Bakora. Now, the next opponent is, I believe, Pegasus. He can play things like Bokori Box that have 2300 attack and Meteor Black Dragon that has 3500. If he plays MBD, I have to Raigeki or I lose. Bokori Box I can get around with Mystical Sand and Dark Energy. It's also a Dark, so I could make Dark Witch and keep it in Sun. I'm gonna do a couple battles against Bokora. Might do a couple against Keith and then quite a few against Mai to try and get the elves like, get some females, hopefully get some rocks as well. So that does mean it's the end of this part. I will be back hopefully soon. And hopefully you guys will be there. Thanks for watching.